To start this video off, I just wanted to say that I support Comicsgate. I do. I don't see a problem with them. Now, throughout Comicsgate, there's some people that I might not like that much. I might like other people more than others. That's just the way life works. I really like EVS. I think he does great work. I really want to read Cyberfrog. And I, I feel sad that I didn't. I only started interacting with a lot of these people not but two years ago. I haven't met EVS yet, but I've seen a lot of his work, and I am I would love to meet the guy sometime. He seems like a cool dude. Uh, I have gotten a chance to meet Eric July, even though he's not Comic Skate. He is his own dude. Got to meet him at Anime Matsuri. Wonderful dude. I got to meet a lot of these people, a lot of people at Anime Matsuri. People that interact with comic skaters. I myself am not comic skate. Probably never will. I mean, I have a story I want to say. But that's neither here nor there. I do not support what happened here. And I feel... I'm... I, I don't know how to properly address it. But this is wrong. I do not support cancellation. And I think this is an even more egregious version of cancellation than anything else because this wasn't a a ten well this wasn't like a pro comic book writer coming to this comic con to sign autographs this wasn't some professional who they had a contract with or anything like this no this was a volunteer that was banned from this comic convention and you are now pushing away people willing to help out at your convention because they might associate with Comicsgate. My God. This is why people like Ethan Van Skyvern, uh, that Umbrella Guy, Yellow Flash, Raging Golden Eagle, that is why Eric July are so important right now because what they're doing is simply creating independent comics creating independent stories joe ball death 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 go back it if it's still backable i still need to back it if i still can i've been wanting to read that book i watch him every time i watch Flashcast, and he's on he's just there meticulously drawing death 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 oh god i wish i backed it but these people are just creating good content where the mainstream comic book companies have failed, keep getting worse, and are dying. That's why DC has to be propped up by Batman. Marvel has to be propped up by Spider-Man and any other comic book company that doesn't have those creations are faltering. That's kind of sad to see it. But let's get into the story. <clears throat> And uh, you know what? Instead of talking, we'll, we'll start right here in this because this talks about over the last several years, various comic cons have attacked to anti SJW creators, basically comic skaters, people that have associated with comic skate, big names, all sorts of people. Ethan Van Skyvern was once a really big name, still is a big name, but people hate him. But let, let's get into this. But this time, Big Country Comic Expo has attacked a volunteer with no public profile merely because of who he associates with on Twitter. Not some big dude. Okay? We're not talking about EVS. We're not talking about, as they pointed out, Mike S. Miller. We're not talking about Joe Ringo. We're not talking about Larry Coria. We're not talking about these people. We're talking about... This is going to sound mean, but I mean it in the nicest way possible because I also consider myself as some no-name dum-dum. They targeted some no-named individual, some random person who just happened to have followed, maybe retweeted, commented on, people that were comic skaters maybe they follow him maybe he watches some of their content maybe they inspired him to make his own comic book which honestly um, i might put in the description of this video to go to go back it i'm actually thinking of backing it myself 
You don't have to. It's a nice thing to do. Plus, I mean, just look at this cover. This looks badass. Anyways. But they canceled a volunteer, some small dude who just wanted to connect and make comic books. Because he followed maybe a comic skater here or there. That's why they canceled him. Craig White, known only as Mad Ruff, is a 26-year-old military veteran who's now retired. He's a comic enthusiast known only for his love of independent comics, including those that work under the label Comics Gate, a movement dedicated toward escapism, providing a fun contrast to the mainstream comic industry with non-woke entertainment. This year, he launched his new military sci science fiction comic, Soul Tack, I'm probably saying that wrong, on Indiegogo. Go check it out. To his surprise, after attending his attending and working the Big Country Comic Expo at this year's show, the convention organizers made an announcement banning and disavowing him. The statement they made was as follows. And my God. Bounty, you don't point this little, this tiny tidbit out until after the discussion. But uh, they didn't put out the statement until after the expo. Until after everything was done. Why? Because according to this dude, and we'll get it further into it. The only person that had any problem with him was somebody two hours towards the end of the convention. That's the only person that had a problem with him. Wow. You wanted his work and then you kicked him out for the next time. It was brought to our attention that one of the volunteers at Big Comic Big Country Comics Expo 2022 is associated with a movement that does not align with our values in that in the comics community. Big Country Comics and Allied Legends and Allied Legends Inc. values inclusivity, diversity, and community. Well, I mean, you kicked out somebody who just simply disagrees with the mainstream media, the mainstream DC creators thinks of, hey, let's have independent creators, people that are really good at what they do, people that are making really good work. I keep my eyes some. I need a... I keep my eyes some right here. Again, it's not Comics Gate, but Eric July made a really good story that I still want number two. Get it out. But again, you, you kicked out somebody with a diversity of opinion. You kick somebody out who was honestly very inclusive. You kick somebody out who was a part of a community. He just wasn't part of your community. You don't care about diversity, inclusivity, or any of that. You care about one thought, one mind, follow our rules. If you don't, you get kicked to the side. I'm not like that. Either. I don't like that. I love diversity of thoughts and opinions and ideas. I love all that. Love pure diversity, true diversity, true inclusivity. I'll talk to just about anybody. I don't care. But you guys sure do. We encourage everyone to celebrate their differences. No, you don't. And beliefs. No, you don't. All people should have strong representation within the art community and feel welcomed and supported. You kicked him out. He was an independent comic book creator. This individual's association with a group known to be a, against our core values came as a shock to our team. Hmm. You used him up and then threw him aside. To anyone who ha was bothered by this association, we provide our most sincere apologies. We're sorry. Please forgive us. Forgive us to the one lone person that probably actually complained, that dug around his Twitter, that made this complaint to them. My God. We continue to see the volunteer and comic creator pub 
creator publicly voice his dissatisfaction on social media against one of our top supporters. Name names, hmm? Not only to the big country comic expo, but also a very respected member to our entire comics community. That felt weird to say, comics community. For this, we ask you to stop. We're going to use you up, kick you aside, and then denounce you. Say, stop attacking some person who you don't name. Nobody names. We don't even know who you are expressing dissatisfaction of. But we're going to paint you as this awful person after, again, we used you for your free work. Because one person who goes by Callum said so. Well, don't worry. I'm not doxing anybody. That's what the Bounding article says. Calls the dude Callum on online. That's all we know. This association was not brought to our attention until after our show had finished. We will be implementing further protocols for future events to ensure this does not happen again. They're going to be going through everybody's social media now to nitpick every little thing. Oh, you like comic books, huh? Okay, that's cool. Oh, oh you supported Isom. No, you can't help. Purity tests, all this stuff. I don't care who you support. I don't care what you do. I don't care how you voted. I don't care who you sleep with. I don't care about any of that stuff. These people do. These people want one mind, one thought. If you don't agree with them, you're bad. If you don't agree with me, I don't really give a crap. Go do your own thing. But this is wrong. You use this dude up who has... Who was just small comic creator, brand new, not anything big. Actually, same age as me. The dude's 26, right? Yeah, 26. Oh, wait, no. Is a 26 year military veteran. Never mind. He's probably older than me. Anyways, the dude's a 26 year old military, 26 year military veteran. Wants good comics. No, not a big name, not a big. Dude, he just wants good comics. Maybe he follows Ethan Van Skyvern or some of these other guys. And you kicked him out because he just disagrees on maybe a point here or there. If any of our guests, vendors, or customers ever feel unwelcome or have cons or have a concern, they should be brought to our attention. We encourage you to discuss the matter directly with any member of our direct team. Okay. Okay. Technically, I could be a guest. I feel unwelcomed. I feel unwelcomed. I have concerns. You don't want people like me there. You don't want people like him there. Go screw yourself. This is just another one of these com these conventions. There's hundreds of these conventions that go around pure purity testing people and then kicking them aside if they don't line up to their purity test if they just have one thought out of line you get lambasted you get attacked and you get denounced left right and center don't even know much about this dude bounty in a comics is doing really good work at showing off just some of the some of the panels from this dude's comic and it looks cool it looks good Decided to kick aside a small, small creator from Canada, no less. But then again, the main problem is you live in Canada. That's neither here nor there. A little personal joke. Anyways, Mad Ruth's account of events differs from the statement by the convention. He says it's no notable that it was brought to their attention after the convention ended. As no one no one bothered him up until the last two hours of the show when he was approached by a man who goes by Callum online. Don't know who this Callum dude is. Have no, no links or anything to try to say, hey, this dude's Callum. Don't even know who this dude is. 
some random dude that goes by Callum Online had a problem with him, apparently. Nobody knows him. Then they talk, put it right here. I just finished a two-day two day Comic-Con, and it was awesome until some <clears throat> asshat. They, they blurred out the asshat, but it says right around here. Somewhere here. Finished two day and awesome until asshat. No real point in walking out ass. Came up and asked if I was mad rough. I said yes. Then they asked if I heard of Watergate. And I asked from the 60s. They then snickered at me. You know what I mean. And walked away. Whatever. Mad Ruff tweeted. How is he supposed to know what anything's going on there? You talking about Comics Gate? Could be talking about Gamer Gate. We could be talking about Laptop Gate. We could be talking about Mayo Gate. Two of those things are a little more political. But you get the drift. There's a lot of things that end with Gate. Could be almost anything. But it's kind of starting to look like Callum here is the reason this dude got banned. Because he had one problem with Comics Gate. Because Mad Ruth decided to follow a comics, comics skater. Follow this person. Maybe retweeted EVS one time. Maybe EVS. I'm using EVS because that's the main guy for Comics Gate. Maybe EVS inspired him to make his independent comic. Like several people have been inspiring to people for others to make their own independent work. Hell, maybe it was Ripa that inspired him to make his own independent work. We don't know. But because he maybe retweeted, commented, liked, follows a individual in Comicsgate or Comicsgate adjacent, he gets canned. Go screw yourself, Big Comics. Go screw yourself, Callum, too. Whoever you are. No one at the convention other than this Callum had any idea about his online associations, nor was he hostile towards toward anyone at the convention. According to Mad Ruth, he wanted to network with people interested in comics to help promote and sell his Soul Tack book to a local crowd. Yeah. Comic book creators want to sell their comics. He wanted to give out what he thought is a good book. So go back it on Indiegogo. I might back it this Friday when I get paid. But that's... He didn't mess with anybody. He, from all accounts... Again, this is coming from Mad Ruff, so we need more... In, take it as you will. From what we're being told, nothing bad happened. Only one person... Two hours before the, sh the convention ended, knew who he was, made a comment about it, and then got him banned. That's what the story is right now. That is messed up. That is awful. And that shows that these people don't care about you. And that these conventions are still so weak and pathetic that they'll kick out some rando. Again, no offense, but let's be real here. We're not talking about EVS. We're not talking about some mainstream comic book creator right now. Dan Slott. No, I think Dan Slott is still in comics. We're not talking about people like that. I could be getting Dan Slott wrong. That could be a comic skater. We're not talking about some big, huge named guy. We're talking about some random individual who thought, hey, I'm going to go here, I'm going to volunteer, and I'm going to try to network to sell my comic. That's what we're talking about. We're talking about some small guy. And because one person had a problem with him, out of thousands, hundreds, who knows, you kick him out. Never to return. God, that looks like a cool-ass picture. Look at that ship. While the Big Country Comics Expo says they celebrate differences and beliefs, their actions prove otherwise, as they are targeting someone based solely on who he interacts with on Twitter and not because of any negative actions of his own. Mad Ruth says, uh, says of himself, 
If it needs to be said, I'll say it once again, for those who need to hear it. I do not discriminate or judge anyone based on race, color, creed, gender, political, or sexual orientation. I treat everyone equally as I wish to be treated. All are welcome. Can you say the same? No, they can't because they don't view it that way. They think they do, but they don't. They do judge people on those standards. They actually enjoy judging people on those standards. It's sick and it's disgusting. I don't like thinking about those standards. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you do. You are what you are. I can't change that. You can talk to me all you want. I'm not going to have a problem with you. If you have a problem with me, that's another story. Depends on what you have a problem with me with. If you don't like me for my politics, for my beliefs, for who I follow, for who I discuss, don't know how to fix that. Probably can't fix that. But I don't care who you interact with. I don't care who you are. I don't care how you voted, who you sleep with, any of that stuff. These people do, though. They've always done that. Cyberfog. Cyberfog. Cyberfrog. Still, still feel like I'm saying that wrong. EVS, Ethan Van Skyvern, stated of the banning. This is, a, is astonishing, but a good reminder. The comic book industry is very, very sick. When the convention discovered that one of their volunteers, remember, it was a volunteer, wasn't even getting paid, was there of his own volition, didn't have to even pay to get there. He just wanted to go to help out and also network. That's all he wanted to do was aligned with Comicsgate, they felt the need to release a statement unpersoning him viciously. These people have no morals. They don't care. And it's really cool to see Ethan Van Skyvern come out, come up to protect him. You even had, and I watched some of the video, you had a, I don't remember this dude's name, John Della Rose. It's right there. I haven't watched John Del Rose's stuff. John Del Rose came out to support him. All sorts of people came out to support this dude. Just because he got kicked out. She kind of shows you who who's on whose side. Kind of shows you who's the good people and who are the crappy people. Man, that, that kind of that kind of says a lot. The woke cultural gatekeepers can never say the same as they spend their days policing with policing with associations with whom and what they perceive people to believe online. They never intend diversity or inclusivity, but only want people who think the same as them to be allowed into a hobby or community. That such blatant discrimination exists to the point where conventions pick on volunteers is a tragedy to culture. I agree. 100% agree. I 100% this is wrong. This is awful. And it's just happening more and more. It's not the first time. Well, I think it might be the first time volunteers have been picked on. Not the first time people have been kicked out of conventions, banned from coming com to conventions or anything like that. The most famous one that I know of most goes to, uh, goes to a great voice actor, Vic Mignogna unfounded claims of sexual impropriety, sexual misconduct, and he gets kicked out of several conventions. People came out to support him. People Conventions still block him off. But when they block him off, people come. But that's why we also have Anime Matsuri. That's why we do have some conventions willing to say no, F off. We need more conventions like that. I don't know when, if we're ever going to get them or when we'll get them or if we will. Basically, when or if we will ever get them. But I wish more would stand up, and I wish this would stop. I mean, come on. The dude just wanted to make a comment, made a comic, and just wanted a network to help sell it. Let me get your guys' thoughts down in the comments below. Again, I'll put the link down to the Indiegogo there. I'll probably back it when I get a chance. But uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, share it out with all your friends, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for every time I put out a new video and go live, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.